Travel Across America with me. What are a few things I will be showing you today? First, how to ride and where to ride on a ferry in the Puget Sound. Where the best coffee is, where Seattle's best coffee was originated, a giant wooden troll, a stunning quaint lighthouse. And you remember Boo and Kitty? If you know who I'm talking about, you'll see Boo's door. That was my favorite part. And ferns bursting. A lot of people eat fiddleheads. Have you ever eaten a fiddlehead? Well, there's just going to be tons to see in this video. You'll want to hang on. I promise it will be a delight. We are going to Bastion Island. You will want to see every stop we made on this incredible island in the Puget Sound. We're starting our trip going across the Tacoma Narrows and to the city of Tacoma, specifically the Point Defiance Ferry Terminal. The only way that you can get to Bastion Island is by ferry. We have traveled in and out of Bastion Island twice and have traveled from all three directions. It's a fun place to go and you'll see why in this video. We got there early in the morning. We paid, I think it was like $20. It's a round trip fare because they figure if you get there, you gotta get out of there. But we had to wait quite a while because there's only one ferry going back and forth. We finally got on and we were the third car back in the center row. But what's great is that you can get out even though it's a short little trip, maybe 10 or 12 minutes, but just time enough to get out and walk around. There were very few walk-ons on the ferry. I think they've already gone to work because this is mid-morning, a great time to travel on the ferry. Bastion is in King County, Washington. It is sometimes called Bastion Mari Island because the little island of Mari is attached and I'll tell you how that happened in a bit. This is the largest island in the Puget Sound. The island is connected to West Seattle and the Kitsap Peninsula to the north and Tacoma to the south via the Washington State Ferry Systems. The island has resisted the construction of a fixed bridge to preserve its relative isolation and rural character. As you shall see, it sits at the midpoint of the southern Puget Sound between Seattle and Tacoma. In 2021, the Washington State Ferry celebrated 75 years and we have ridden on this ferry system many many times both as walk-ons from Bremerton to Seattle and with our car all across the Puget Sound it is truly a fun thing to do and it cuts out a lot of the traffic okay Seattleites I hate to tell you this but you have the worst traffic in the whole United States yes worse than LA put me on an LA freeway any day it's a lot like traveling in Miami but Miami goes a lot smoother than Seattle so if you're traveling through Seattle and you're on the freeways just pack a lunch the Washington State Ferry System includes 21 vessels and Chetsy as she's commonly called, is the Kwai D. Tabil class. Its length is almost 274 feet. Its beam is 64 feet. It can hold 748 passengers and a maximum of 64 vehicles. The name honors a friendly Native American chief of the Skylum tribe near the Port Townsend area who died in 1888. This thing has two engines with 6,000 horsepower. It was built in Seattle. Chetsy has become the main service to Bastion Island on January 23, 2012 from the Point Defiance Tahlequah route. The ferry was christened by the governor and began service November 14, 2010. It's a beautiful ferry. We're getting close. We better get back to our car. Oh, yes. Okay, here we are. So now we're headed onto Bastion Island. And our first stop is going to be the Burton Coffee Stand. The 
the barista was delightful. We ordered a latte, an Americano, and this amazing poppy seed roll. Guys, this poppy seed Danish is the best. You'll want to visit Burton Coffee Stand on Fashion Island. Next stop, Inspiration Point. Unfortunately, because of the growth, you really can't see very well, and it was a cloudy day, and they claim that on a clear day, you can see Mount Rainier from here. And if you can, you are very fortunate. Vashon Island was discovered in 1792 by Captain George Vancouver, named for his friend, Captain James Vashon. Pioneering began in 1877 when, when Sheratons came to Homestead at Quartermaster Harbor. Prices, miners, and gilmans at Paradise Valley. By spring of 1878, all had been settled on claims. Next stop, the park and ride. Why? Because we want to see the Tacoma Ant Farm? Uh, no, 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 that's just a bonus. Wait till you see the bicycle that was swallowed by a tree. This is how the legend goes. Decades ago, a young kid accidentally left their bicycle leaning against a tree. Over time, the tree actually grew around it and lifted it into the air. Today, the bicycle is completely engulfed by the tree's trunk. It is near downtown Vashon Island. Well, just south of downtown Vashon Island. And a few stops that we're going. There's a small trail that leads into the woods. Our next stop is the Shingle Mill Preserve. This will be our northernmost point on this cruise through Vashon Island. This is a favorite among locals and tourists. There are lots of different trails and we chose to try the Fern Cove trails. Hiking in the Pacific Northwest is so special. Everything was starting to bud and bloom and grow. It was just amazing to see all the foliage. And of course, the classic moss on the trees. We're at this little creek. Notice, kids, dogs, and human guardians, active spawning occurring. Please keep your paws and boots out of the creek October through March. Okay, well, this is April, but I'm not gonna stick my paws or my boots in the creek. The trail became very muddy and we turned back. And, and again, that's one of the problems with hiking at this time of year. Well, it might be the hiking any time of the year in the Pacific Northwest. Wear shoes that you don't care that get dirty. But I had my new ugly shoes and I didn't want to get them dirty prepared. Sorry, I went as far as I could. Other trails include Bill's Trail and the Upper Shingle Mill. Keep wildlife wild. Stay away from these animals. This is their home. You're just visiting. Now our next stop was my favorite the first time we went to Vashon Island. I call it the doors. Look at these doors. Isn't this just the cutest thing? I think everybody should put this up somewhere in their town.
We're headed towards our next stop, but first, we're gonna use this door knocker. And I have a question. Which door is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. We're stopping at the historic roastery and store, the Vashon Island Coffee Roastery. It's historic. This is where Seattle's Best was started. Coffee, tea, spices, and gifts, and more. And what's funny is out here just on the porch is they have these coffees. It's sort of a help yourself, serve yourself. You need to pay though. They're open eight to four and nine to two on Sundays. This place is amazing. It's like a museum. For example, Jim and his brother Dave had a store in Steamboat Springs, Colorado from 1974 to 1976 in the same style as the Seattle Wet Whiskers. This store feature both coffee and ice cream. Perhaps more famous than the roasted coffee coffee at this location was the incredible banana nut ice cream topped with fudge. Oh, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Jim and Dave couldn't keep up with the customer demand. I bet not. What is your favorite coffee blend? Front porch French? I like organic medium blend from Chiapas, Mexico. Not that you cared or asked, but I just volunteered the information. So tell me what your favorite blend is. Enjoy the interior of this historic location. And have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? Can you please subscribe? And don't forget to tell a friend about my channel. Seattle's best. Bold flavor, smooth taste. The store was truly amazing. You could spend a lot of money there. Next stop, Mari Island. Mari Island, immediately to the southeast of Vashon, was named in 1841 by then Lieutenant Charles Wilkes in honor of William Lewis Mari, an officer in the United States exploring expedition. Mari was naturally separated from Vashon by a narrow passage until local landowners decided to build an earthen bridge or isthmus. Wait till you see why we went to Mari Island. We wanted to go to Point Robinson Park. There's two things to see there. You know what they are? What does the sign say? Yes, a troll. Meet Oscar the Bird King. Thomas Dambo is an artist based in Denmark. Thomas makes sculptures and installations out of recycled materials. By doing this, he hopes to inspire everybody to have fun and think of trash as a valuable resource. The sculpture is part of a series of six site specific installations called Northwest Trolls way of the bird king we only had time to find oscar maybe in future trips we'll find the other five or at least one or two of them you can interact with the sculpture but don't climb on him okay i won't i don't even think i want to touch him where have you seen a troll tell us in the comments below don't forget to subscribe even oscar is saying hey guys subscribe to her channel okay next stop we're having to go down to the water to see the lighthouse it is truly a beautiful stroll at all times of year, but we are fortunate to be here in spring where everything is just popping. Are you enjoying our trip so far? I hope so. The Point Robinson Lighthouse is truly charming and is one of those more iconic photo opportunities on the island. The lighthouse is located on the east side of Mari Island. From the lighthouse, you can see the East Passage, the city of Tacoma, and Mount Rainier. Again, that's on a clear day. The lighthouse has been in operation since 1885. It has been fully automated since 1978. Wow! The park contains a sandy beach, a saltwater marsh, and woodlands.
You can even stay at the lighthouse property. We found the gift shop, the ship store, but it wasn't open today. Oh well. I took a picture through the window. All of this driftwood is totally amazing, don't you think? And we found this railroad track? It goes straight into the water. I guess that's how they transported things. At one time, onto ships? I don't know. This is part of the Whale Trail. And yes, you can see whales in the Puget Sound. At certain times of year, research it before you go. Hang on because we have a few more stops and you won't want to miss them. Or did we catch the ferry right on time? Or did we have to wait? You'll have to keep watching to find out. We made a quick stop at the Mari Island Marine Park. It is famous for the Pacific Madrone trees. They say you might even see herons or eagles during your visit. The park has one mile of shoreline and is a must-see while you're on the island. There's also over three miles of trails at this park, but you do know that what goes down must come up. I hope you're enjoying traveling across America with me. Next stop, Yes, the ferry. And the traffic's moving. I see the ferry, but will we get on? Yes, we made it! Hooray! No wait this time. Let us enjoy the scenery on the way back to Tacoma.
tell a friend about my channel. We better get back to the car. It's about time to drive off. Wow, look at all those people trying to get back home on Bastion Island. I totally understand that. New, ugly shoes, on the ground. Remember, I didn't want to get them muddy on that firm cove trail. Unclassic road trip. Thank you.